Hey everybody, this is My Vinyl 2. Today I'm going to show my Eric Clapton collection. This is everything Eric Clapton, whether if it's John Mayles Blues Breakers or Cream or Blind Faith or Derek and the Dominoes or his solo work. This is everything Eric Clapton that I currently have in my collection. And let's get started. Here are the 45s. First one is a Cream 45. This is a single I Feel Free backed with NSU. This is a mono single on the UK Reaction Records label. My next Cream 45 is Sunshine of Your Love, backed with... Um, that song title happens to be an acronym. I think it stands for She Wears Like a Bearded Rainbow, or She Was Like a Bearded Rainbow, something like that. Um... This is on the Atco label and, and the singles in mono. My next 45 is a record store day issue. Um, the songs on here on side A has got to get better in a little while. Um, it's an unreleased version. And side B is the classic Layla. This was released around the time of the Layla reissue from a couple 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 years ago. My next 45 is Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. It's on the Reprise label. On the back side is Tracks and Lines. Tracks and Lines is like an instrumental. Now on to the albums. Um, first album here, John Mayles Blues Breakers with Eric Clapton. It, it's in stereo on the London Records label. Very happy to find this because this is this one's pretty rare I don't see it very often when, when I did see it I just picked it up and the records in really nice shape my next album this is a mono version of John Mayles Blues Breakers with Eric Clapton this is a reissue on 180 gram vinyl And now, on to the Cream albums. So Dale, also known as String Child 1, if you're watching this, get ready to have your jaw drop, man. I hope you enjoy my Cream collection. Um, this My first Cream album, this is a, a late 70's reissue of Fresh Cream. It's, a, it's part of the Rock Flashback series that they had in England. It's on the Polydor label in the UK. It's basically the Fresh Cream album, except it has two, two extra tracks that were never put on the album. Here are the, here are the songs right here. Wrapping Paper and Coffee song. Um, it says that this album is Fresh Cream plus the two tracks I mentioned. And this is a UK first issue of Fresh Cream, and it's in stereo on the Reaction label. Reaction Records. Vinyl's in great shape. And this is a mono version of Fresh Cream. There it is right there, mono. Reaction Records in England. And this is an American Fresh Cream on the Atco Records label and it's in mono too. I got this for a dollar at a record store. This is what the back looks like. The track listing for this is different from the UK one. And now on to Disraeli Gears. <clears throat> this is a UK stereo on the Reaction label as well. This one's laminated. There's the stereo notice right there. The catalog number. And, and um, there's the Reaction. I think that's the Reaction label. You can barely see it, so I'll just show the vinyl.
Now that's what the reaction label in England looks like right there. And um, my next my next copy of Disraeli Gears is a mono copy. Also on the UK reaction label. There's mono right there. Very beautiful artwork. This one's laminated. Very happy to have these two albums. There, there, that's the reaction label. And that's that's what the UK Fresh Cream albums on the reaction label that I have look like. It has this blue label here. Here's another Disraeli Gears, but it's on the Atco label. But what's weird about this, this uses a stereo sleeve. But the record is in mono. That's what the mono Atco records look like. And my next cream album is Wheels of Fire. This is on Polydor. This is a UK first issue. And this this one is, is a gatefold. My next cream album is also a UK issue. This is Goodbye Cream on Polydor. And I think this is my last Cream album I have right now. This is another UK first press in. This is the best of Cream. This one's laminated. Also, um, the sleeve's also made by Ernest J. Day. This one is, is beautiful. And my next one... This is the group that Eric Clapton formed after Cream disbanded. This is Blind Face's first and only album. This one has um, Eric Clapton, of course, and Ginger Baker, and Steve Winwood, and Rick, Rick Gretsch. This is a UK first issue of Blind Faith, and it sounds really good. My next one, next Clapton album, is Derek and the Dominoes' Layla. This one is a UK first press in. Right here. Made in England. Very awesome album. One of my all-time favorite albums. This is now on to Eric, Eric Clapton's solo stuff. This is a best of Eric Clapton timepieces. All the songs on here. It's basically Eric's solo work. My next Eric Clapton album is Behind the Sun. This is a U.S. pressing. And my next Clapton album is Journeyman. This is actually a Canadian pressing. This is original pressing. This is not a reissue. The reissue is like a double vinyl. And last but definitely not least, this is the Crossroads box. This is the vinyl version of it. Here's the insert, here's the book. This is six a six vinyl set. All the one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is the track list on the back of, of everything. This is basically a career span anthology. And this is, that's my Eric Clapton collection. You guys take care.